live on location from delightfully different Dunedin. Featuring Justin Cataccio with Caitlin Hart. Live music every week. Highlighting local artists and people in the know. This is Good Morning Dunedin. Good morning, Dunedin. I'm Justin Gattaccio, and I'm here with Caitlin Hart. I think that summer is finally here. School ends this week, and summer camps start on Monday. I'll be back to work full-time next week, which I am looking forward to. Now, summer in Florida is something of a quandary. Sometimes it feels like summer has been here for months, or that it never really ended, or that summer is just hurricane season. But we'll talk on more on that tomorrow, or next week rather. Today, we will be talking with Parks and Recreation staff about what's open just in time for summer and a few ways to beat the heat. First, let's go to Caitlin on what's happening in Community Corner. Hello. So bars are back open, barricades are up to let people spread out and start to enjoy going back out into the public. Social distancing is still very much in effect to keep us safe. Here's a short clip of some of the places starting to open back up. Yeah, there's D-Town, yeah. his family chiropractic, the bowling alley is open finally, Dunedin Brewery, Carmelitas, some daycare is open. And I like how they have the, the barricades. Let's, um, let's show that video of the downtown reopening clip. There's the pool, we'll be talking about the pool in a little bit. Of course, social distancing is still in effect. There's the that barricades. <laughs> I like calling them barricades. <laughs> yeah, there's Caledonia. The Rot House has got everybody in their parking lot. There's the gym. I will eventually get back to. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's those a lot otters. of great things. Let's say those otters were super cute. I didn't even know we had those in Dunedin. Yeah, I think those are Seth's backyard or something. <laughs> so I personally have not ventured out. I'm taking it slow with my wife's schedule. We really haven't had any chance to go out. Have you, Caitlin? Well, not too much yet, but I did venture out to the beach the other night to have a drink with a family friend. She's leaving Dunedin behind and heading back to her home state to be with her family. Oh. So hopefully okay. she'll come back and visit in Dunedin again. Did you guys and... go out downtown or Clearwater Beach or? So originally we were gonna go to the Frenchies on the causeway and we ended up at the Frenchies on Clearwater Beach. Um, oh, okay. I was still kind of nervous to go out and yeah. I wouldn't have if she wasn't leaving it wasn't a special to go occasion. out of state. So were uh -huh, people so... all over the place or how's that work out there? In a way they were like all over the place as in like the, the tables were spread out a lot further. They extended it out into the sand area. So that way people were more spread instead of how close they usually are. Um, the staff all were wearing masks. Obviously not the, you know, the visitors because can't <laughs> it's really- hard to drink or, and eat yeah. with a mask on. But yeah. I think they did pretty well of spreading everybody out and only letting a certain amount of people come in. Well, good. Well, good. I think everybody's taking this all very seriously and responsibly. All right. Top 10 things to do before summer is over. Go outside and throw a frisbee or ball. 
play in the sprinkler. Those are your uh, two fun outdoor things. Yes, I just started um, trying out frisbee golf and ice oh, play yeah. in the sprinklers all the time at the park. Just had the sprinklers on at my house yesterday. All right, number eight. Set up the slip and slide. That one is a lot of fun, especially when you add bubbles. Oh yeah, you make it real slip. slippery, huh? Oh yeah. I remember there was the, 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 so it was like a commercial for slip and slide back in the eighties. It was like, you run, you dive, you hit the bump. No, you, you run, you slide, you hit the bump and take a dive. We always had so much fun with uh, slip and yeah, slide. Yeah, I do so. not <laughs> remember that at all. Oh, it was, it was big. It was big when I was a kid. All right, number seven, top things to do over summer. Do a cannonball in the pool. Which I need to start doing that more often. I usually just walk in the pool. I don't ever really jump in anymore. <laughs> I am a big cannonballer. I like to just jump in. My daughter loves the cannonball, so maybe that's partly why. <laughs> All right, number six of top things to do over the summer. Go fishing. I used to go fishing all the time and I need to start going out again because that's really fun to me. Yep. Um, I'm just trying to teach my daughter how to fish and it, I'm always been a terrible fisherman. I don't, I don't really get it. <laughs> I'm using the wrong bait or something. I haven't caught a yeah, fish since I was like sure. 10. All right, let's go to the top five. Number five, take out the boat or kayaks. Well, I got kayaks and a little sailboat and I love taking them out. I love going to kayak in when I can. Number we four. That's good, good times. Remember when we went kayaking? It's good times. I do remember when we went kayaking. <laughs> All right, number four. Number four is have a watermelon seed spitting contest. Whose idea was this? This is Leah's idea. Definitely not seeds. mine. I have never done that. <laughs> um, well, you grew up in though. the age where watermelons didn't have seeds. Like, when I was a kid, <laughs> that was unheard of. Seedless watermelon? It's just weird. We always used to <laughs> take them out into the garden and spit the seeds into the garden. And then later in the year, you'd have all these watermelons. That's my so memory. They actually grew? They actually grew. Yeah. All right, number three. Build sandcastles at the beach. I always see some pretty cool ones when I'm at Honeymoon Island and Causeway. Yeah, I bet you do get to see a lot of sandcastles out there. I haven't built one in a little while, but uh, I'm a pretty good sandcastle builder. One of my hidden. We talents. should have a contest. <laughs> Do one of our shows on the beach, and that'll be my my hidden talent for the for the week. Once we're That'd out of the fun. studio, yeah. All right, number two. Make some frozen desserts. Not about making them, but I like eating frozen desserts. Maybe frozen beverage. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe some frozen drinks. All right, number one. Number one of top things to do this summer. Relax on a hammock. <laughs> we like this number one relaxing in a hammock thing. It's like the third time we've done it. But I do not, I, I do like nothing less than relaxing in a hammock. Yeah, All right, there's so, so many hammocks things. on the causeway, passing oh, yeah. on the causeway, and there's even some that are like <laughs> double, triple stack. Yeah, and how do you I, get up there? You just I, gotta like I don't jump. know. I definitely would not want to be on the bottom one though. <laughs> I have one of those beach hammocks that I like to take out there. It's good times. All right, so I have also heard that the library is finally opening next week and will be open at 50% capacity starting Monday. And don't forget to return all those overdue library books. Book drops are open 10 to six during the week. Um, but just so you know, there's no late fees right now. But uh, get them back in, and you can start reserving books and hopefully checking out books soon from the library. Yes. They will also have a rotating cleanup closure schedule. And so, yeah, just don't forget to turn in your books and check out some new ones. 
remember social distancing while venturing back out into the public. And they also have curbside pickup for any requests you have. And no, Justin, you cannot order fries with that. <laughs> so we are going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we'll have Parks and Rec leader, Alicia Castricone to talk about the city pool. Greg Bryant. Question for you. How well do you know your elected officials? And so just civics was giving back, getting involved, providing service was kind of in my DNA, in my upbringing. Question. Um, I unwillingly came from Florida um, in high school. Coffee with the Commission. Welcome back, everyone, and good morning, Dunedin. Today marks the last day of school, which means summer is here. No more <laughs> online classes. Woohoo! Woohoo! So let's talk with Alicia about what's happening at the community pool. Welcome, Alicia. Hi, thank you for having me. And we got this beautiful pool behind us, you can see. Yes, it looks Pretty awesome. <laughs> so I heard the pool is back open. Yes, we reopened on May 18th. We had limited hours, Monday through Thursday. We were just doing lap swimming on an hourly basis. Um, just last weekend, we opened up uh, the weekend hours, which were um, 12 to 2.30 and then 2.30 to 4.30 with a maximum capacity of 25. And that seemed very successful. So we're very excited by that. So this weekend, we also have that same uh, reservation through eventbrite.com where you can reserve to come to the pool for the open swim hours. So yeah, that's been very successful. I'm sure everyone without a pool is so excited to be back, especially with this summer heat. So you guys are following the CDC guidelines, which sounds like you guys all have it all plans out and with the social distancing and everything. Uh, I see you guys are doing 25% capacity. I was gonna ask about that as well. And um, so I know with the summer camps, you know, they're only allowing of what, 10 people per group? So, and there's a quite a few different groups. Are they still able to visit the pool as well? How will you guys do go about that? Like, would you spread out the times of the different groups or how does that work? Yeah, so um, we're, we're doing our hours a little bit differently starting June 1st. Um, there's gonna be some lap swimming out uh, time in the morning from nine to 9.45 and then again from 10 to 10.45. Then we go to open swim where we're gonna be allowing that 25% capacity. Again, they'll have to reserve in order to be able to come during that time slot. Then at one o'clock, we will shut down to the public. And then at 1.15, we'll open uh, for the Dunedin camps. They have all, um, they all understand kind of how the process is gonna work, but every single person will be thermal scanned. Um, the questions will be asked, you know, if they've had any symptoms or if they've been out of state within 14 days or been in contact with someone who has been diagnosed with COVID-19. So all those questions will still be asked. Um, and then once we are at four o'clock, we close down, we clean up, um, decontaminate everything once again and continue for the next day. <laughs> Awesome. Sounds like you guys definitely have a plan and it'll work out for everybody. And so I saw from the video and what you mentioned, you said the Eventbrite is the site that you guys, that anybody who wants to come will have to pick a time slot, right? Yes, that is correct. Whether it be open swim or lap swim, um, even our community center, fitness center, um, it's all through eventbrite.com right now. Okay, awesome. Do you guys have, um, like, do you have any more information on the different rec center, like the, the different places that are opening, the recreation center, uh, the pool, just any more information in general about the summer camps? Um, so we will, I'm sorry, this, the thing moved. Just hold <laughs> Give it. Just a second. <laughs> okay. Just hold it. So, um, we will be changing our hours of operation come 
June 1st. It'll be, like I said, um, in the morning, we got the lap swim um, from 9 to 9.45, and then from 10 to 10.45, and then open swim will be 11 to 1, um, again, the reservation, and then camps from there will go from 1.15 to 4 o'clock, and that'll be Monday through Thursday. Friday will be 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., and that'll be open swim. And then the camps will go from one to four as well. Then Saturday and Sunday, again, we'll, we'll hold on to that 12 to four time frame with two time blocks within it. Well, thank you so much for all the information and thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. We're gonna have a quick break and when we return, we will talk more about what summer looks like featuring another one of Justin's hidden talents. Made in Dunedin. This program will highlight those ideas and businesses that are unique to our community. The things that set Dunedin apart. Made in Dunedin. coordinator for the city of Dunedin and I'm here to talk about recycling. What not to recycle, what to recycle, contamination, all of those confusing questions. Go on our city website under Dunedin Green Scene. All right well today's hidden talent is a summertime favorite, the hula hoop. <laughs> Hand wave action. Come on, you know you love to do the hula hoop, right? Come on, anybody can do it. Look, if I can do it, you can do it. Get out there and try it. Send in your videos. Good morning, Dunedin. Welcome back. Can you hula hoop, Caitlin? Well, of course, you can hula hoop. Who can't, just like you said? But unfortunately, I do not have a hula hoop with me right now, so I can't show you at the moment. Uh huh. Convenient. But I heard your daughter follows in your footsteps when it comes to hula hooping. So let's check out the clip. Thank you. <laughs> Those are the baby birds. She was just in a talent show two yeah, days ago, goodbye. and uh, this was her Bye. talent. Big finale. There you go. <laughs> Cute. She's pretty good. Yeah! <laughs> it runs in the family. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Justin and JC. You never know a hidden talent he's going to show us. That's now, right. speaking of hidden talents, Justin, I'm sure you're running out of them. So we would like to see if any of you guys can do any of Justin's hidden talents, and we will air them on next week's show. Let's see if, or who I should say, can do them better than Justin. So yes, please video yourself. Let's see, we had, I was balancing a stick on my nose the first week, and then I was juggling, and then I was spinning a ball, and then uh, did a handstand, and the paddle ball, yo-yo. Yo-yo, bike without handlebars. <laughs> Riding my bike without handlebars. You have to wear a helmet if you're going to send that clip in. Uh, so yeah, be safe doing these, of course, and we'd like to see your hidden talents. So for today's musical guest, we have on Steve McNulty. He's a local artist who plays locally. Welcome to the show, Steve. Hey, guys. How you doing? Good. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Got a song that I wrote. Yeah. Can you first tell us a little bit about yourself and maybe where people can find your music? Yeah, that'd be great, man. Well, my name's Steve McNulty. I'm a singer-songwriter that lives here in Dunedin, Florida, my hometown. And uh, I play all throughout the Pinellas County area. Uh, I'm actually playing this uh, Sunday at the Lucky Lobster. And Friday or Saturday night, you can catch me at Hog Island Fish Camp. So a couple of local Dunedin shows this weekend. Um, I also have a website, www.reverbnation.com forward slash Steve McNulty. 
and you can catch my schedule there as well. Oh, good. Okay. And well, uh, this next song is one I wrote not too long ago. It's called The Right Direction. Okay, so just... Are so, you can start your song in just a second. I just wanted to say that we had a great show, everybody, and that um, we want everybody to stay safe out there, and please continue to be kind to one another and stay safe. Caitlin, good morning, good Dunedin. Good morning, Dunedin. <laughs> All right, Steve, play us out. Thanks, guys. Things are moving in the right direction. One thing's for sure, she's gotten my attention. Her heart is pure, but needs my protection and love. Sweet love. East to west, she's a cut above the rest. Maybe it's her smile or the sunlight on her dress. Either way, I think I have been blessed with love. Sweet love. And I've been around the world a time or two, but I've never met anybody quite like you. And things are moving in the right direction. North to south is a positive attraction. The force is strong. You can feel the passion. It's pulling me close. There's a chain reaction. It's love. Sweet love. And I've been around the world a time or two, but I've never met anybody quite like you. And things are moving in the right direction. One thing's for sure, she's got my attention. Heart is here, but needs my protection and love. Sweet love.